Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 239 is now out as we see Kenjaku facing off against Takaba at the end of the chapter. We finally get to see the comedian take a stand once again as he will be facing one of the strongest characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. Takaba has been a very compelling character and his return makes it all the worthwhile as we get to see what he can do against Kenjaku. I think this match can be very close as we know Tabaka is a very strong character who gets unnoticed a lot due to his comedic personality and lack of points in the calling game. He loves to show up in spots at critical points and just joke around all the time. I think Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 240 will further showcase this fight and we get to see what will happen. For now let's theorize just what could happen in Chapter 240. The chapter should start off again with Takaba vs Kenjaku. Kenjaku's attacks did absolutely nothing to Takaba and this is the first time he has seen something like this. Takaba could very well be the weakness to Kenjaku that has not been seen before. Takaba has an amazing ability where he can manifest situations he finds funny into reality. The biggest problem for him is that he doesn't know about it. This ability is something that can be effective against Gojo himself, so imagine how it could be against Kenjaku. Kenjaku might find a way to figure out Takaba's curse technique and it would allow him to defeat Takaba, but I also think we might see some more sorcerers of the past potentially join this fight to take on Kenjaku. Either way, he's not going to be stalled for a while, with Takaba as Kenjaku himself has already said he has a limited amount of friends and the only way to become his friend is to not be boring or to be equals with them. Takaba would seem very interesting to Kenjaku and could very well become his friend. Takaba seems like a very genuine person who wants to make people laugh and be friends. He has a low amount of points in the calling game because he doesn't care too much for violence anyways. Takaba made Kenjaku Takaba made Kenjaku's attack not work at all and he could do this for a while just making jokes and cracking up to Kenjaku resulting in a stalemate. In the next chapter we could also find out more about Takaba's skills and past. This could show us more of his life and he could end up showcasing more skills than we already know. It's a tough guess but with this curse technique the options are immeasurable. We've already seen a lot of the past from characters like Higuruma and Kashimo so maybe Takaba next to have some more. Takaba already says he will be the side character who will steal the show and we get to see how he does it in this great matchup. Jujutsu Kaisen is putting together some of the greatest fights just consecutively over and over. Takaba could become a key piece to help out the sorcerers who are already dealing with so much from Tsukuna currently. With Takaba on their team, they now add more firepower due to the loss of Gojo. They will need all the help they can get as Tsukuna isn't messing around and Yuji will still need to take over in this match. I think the outcome of this fight could go in two ways. It could end up with Kenjaku finding out about Takaba's curse technique and figuring out a way to stop it. Kenjaku has mastery over a lot of curse techniques as he has switched bodies over the years and knows a lot about them, however he has never seen a rare case like this. So with Takaba it could be tricky. Either way this fight will be serious and we can see the battle end with no winner. I could also see Kenjaku and Takaba becoming friends as Kenjaku wants someone who is an equal or interesting. Takaba will definitely be interesting to him and could even be considered his equal depending on how he uses his curse technique. I could also see the next chapter talking about what Utah is doing. We have not seen Yuta at all since Gojo's death and is starting to arouse questions from the whole community. I agree as well that now is the time that Yuta and Maki should be down there as well helping Yuji. Akari has already come down to face Orome and we also have Hikaruma helping Yuji. Just what are Maki and Yuta doing? My guess is Yuta is figuring out a plan to defeat Tsukuna and they need him to be alive as they see him as the strongest to be able to defeat him. They already said once before that Utah is their insurance plan and Utah wants to be the one to defeat Kenjaku so he will also have to go through this hurdle of facing Tsukuna. Many people are calling Utah a fraud and a scaredy cat as he has not made his way down there and disrespecting him. I'm sure whatever he's doing right now is important and he will definitely enter the battle and hopefully soon as we don't know what could also happen with Akari and Arame. As Utah remains on the sidelines, the next chapter's focus will still be on Kenjaku and Takaba's match. I think in the next chapter we don't go back to Yuji and Tsukuna just yet. Gage seems to be showing more of what's going on in the background of Tsukuna vs everyone and let us know what's happening and keep us updated. We now know that Kenjaku has seen Gojo's death so he knows that everyone else will also be going to fight Tsukuna as he can roam around freely. He has traces on every player in the clone games and can even track when a certain player's curse energy has left so someone like Yuta is the big target on his list. We needed to know what Kenjaku was up to as he continues for his quest to kill every player in the clone games and he's starting with the reincarnated players. Curious to know your guys' thoughts on this chapter, as we were all expecting a crazy comeback and a showcase for Yuji, but to be sidetracked for another fight between Kenjaku and Takaba. It's possible we don't see Yuji and Sukuna's fight for a few chapters as we are getting notified on what's going on in the background. The story might showcase everyone's reaction to when Gojo died as we have not seen everyone yet and we could also still meet new characters from the past we have not seen yet. I'm curious as Gege just adds a new character only to kill her off in the first four panels. It's quite funny but that's how Gege does it. 
Jago's face when he cannot defeat Tagaba will say it all. I think Tagaba has a really good chance in this fight. I haven't seen him be a hindrance at all, and he will probably just take damage just because he wants to. He has the power to overscale the balance of the sorcerers, but he's a comedian who just wants to take the main stage and make people laugh. As the series continues, we might see Tagaba get serious for once, and this will end up diminishing his curse technique. Tagaba was someone who was always just wanted to be funny, and no one gave him the time of day because he was older. As he's in the Cullen games, he is surrounded by a lot of older people. A lot of older people, in fact, and he can make a grand debut showcasing his uniqueness. He's still not funny, but him trying to be funny is funny, which in turn will allow him to make friends, and he's strong, so no one can look down on him and try to oppose him. As he fights Kenjaku, I think Kenjaku could realize this and see the comedian for who he is. The comedic industry had no time for late bloomers, and Tagaba wasn't able to cut it for them. Now as he makes his way into the Kung games, everything becomes a joke for him. He will carry that on for the rest of his life. Interesting to see how that plays out for him. He's an awakened player with a great ability. He knows how to form great relationships with people, and more will start to be his comrade as he takes center stage of the Kung games as a comedian. He will be the funny guy that the sorcerers need as they are too bent up and serious right now, and it's understandable. With the next chapter, it will be interesting and funny to see. Imagine Tagaba soloing Kenjaku and ending the series right here and now, but if only. We know something's going to happen, and that will alter the direction of the series once again, and I can't wait for that. The fight of Kenjaku and Takaba could reveal something for the others, as they have been preparing for this fight now for some time, and need to know what to do to defeat someone like Kenjaku and Sukuna. But we'll get to see just what happens as we wait for the next chapter to drop. I thank you guys for watching the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back in the next one. Peace.